A woman died after being tied to a tree infested by killer ants. So how did she come to be tied to this tree? I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. Hey friends, I'm Charlotte, here to give you your daily dose of really disturbing shit. No but really, this incident is really messed up. I know you're probably wondering, why was this poor woman tied to an ant infested tree in the first place? Well, the answer is nothing short of strange. Apparently, she went to help her son who had already been bound to the tree by angry accusers who believed her son was trying to steal a car. She was then also bound to the tree along with her daughter. The woman was 52 and her children were 22 and 28. Both she, her daughter and her son were blindfolded and tied to the infested tree by an angry mob. They were beaten and were burned using an accelerant. That shit f***ed up. The tree they were tied to was called a palo santo, which is a type of tree that grows on the coast of South America and is often the home of Brazilian fire ant colonies. Brazilian fire ants are known for their powerful bites that have similar sensation as being burned. To make matters worse, this incident occurred on New Year's Eve. The three of them were rescued and the two children survived, but the mother was not so lucky. She died in the hospital from breathing problems because the ants actually bit her windpipe and caused her throat to swell, preventing her from breathing. The daughter and son are now recovering from their injuries in the hospital. The incident occurred in Bolivia, and upon initial investigation, authorities discovered that the three of them had traveled to Bolivia to recover a debt. The exact nature of the crime is still unclear. On one hand, you've got this horrible crime committed against two young people and their mother. But on the other hand, some locals are describing the three people as criminals who had traveled to this particular area of Bolivia to quote, make mischief. In addition to this, they apparently targeted poor people to get the vehicle they were using. According to local authorities though, the victims had not done anything criminal. Regardless of whatever the trio did or didn't do, what happened to them is horrible. If they had committed a crime, it is not up to the locals to torture and kill the suspects. If we all took the law into our own hands like that, the world would be a very different place. So at first, the investigation was opened as a probe into an attempted car theft, but now it's being changed to a serious assault and murder case. As it stands right now, only one person has been arrested on suspicion of provoking people to commit the very heinous crime. But there are believed to be more people who encouraged the act. A mob of people to be exact. So guys, what do you think about this story? Do you think that civilians should be able to take the law into their own hands like this? Why or why not? Let me know in those comments down below. That is all for now guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin, subscribe to my personal channel, but otherwise I'll see you in another IO video.